Jesse B. Scrapbooking back with another process video. This one is for the co collaboration hop with um, Scrappy Sisters, Laura and uh, Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. And they are doing Scrap Timber and 30 Days of Sketches combined into one big hop. So it's super fun. A lot of people playing along. And today, um, this is the um, yeah, sketch, <laughs> as you can see, it's a real fun one, and then the word for scrap timber is black and white, that's our prompt, so I am going to do a layout in black and white, my pictures are not going to be, because I already had them printed, so here's my two pictures that I'm going to cut down, and, um, yeah, I'm going to use some brand new washi tape that I got from the washi tape shop and um, yeah it's gonna be fun okay so the first thing I'm going to do is cut down these pictures um, quite a bit so that they um, fit on this eight and a half by eleven um, layout uh, nicely um, I do end up cutting um, them down quite a bit but not enough where it's taking um, away from anything in the pictures and the sketch calls for three um, photos I'm only using two one quite a bit smaller than the other so it works out and uh, they do take up more room than what the sketch shows but it's it's okay it works out well so I want to back them with some black and um, I decided to go ahead and just use one big photo mat for both pictures that way I can move them around as one um, one unit and that works out really well um, I do have to reposition this one just a little bit I got it off just a tiny bit but there we go so there isn't as much room on the right side as I would have wanted so I could put the big cluster over there like it has in the sketch. So I just moved that cluster to the top eventually. Here is the um, washi tape that I um, got from the washi tape shop. Um, I really liked the shop. It was... Um, well priced and fast shipping it only took a little while to get here I was really pleased with it and I really love the quality of this tape I actually have used this tape you've seen it used already um, but uh, this was actually the first layout I did with it um, I did it clear back in July I was so excited to use it when it came in and I wanted to use it for this um, this layout I just I just knew this is what I wanted to use it for so I am just alternating between the the black and the white um, tapes so that um, they contrast against each other nicely and I'm putting I think I end up putting four um, on going up and down and then I think I do four going side to side as well so there's those ones and then I'm just gonna give myself a little guideline that you won't see that because it's actually under the picture but I just wanted to be able to, to give myself a guideline for the angle that I want to put these um, tapes at that are showing on that um, right side so here I am doing, I'm trying to use different um, tapes, um, but there isn't a whole lot of just plain black tapes. with. So I had to reuse um, that one, and then I do go into my stash and grab a black and white stripe. Yeah, this one here. Um, this didn't come from that, from the washi tape shop, but um, it works well because it's the same colors and I like it <laughs> so then I go back to the ones I got from the shop 
and there we go. So I got my um, washi down like I want it. And now I'm going to come in with um, my star punch and I'm going to do black stars and I think I do three of them. Uh, maybe four? <laughs> no, I think I only do three, but I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I did this video quite a while ago. Okay, so here is where I am going to, I have to kind of change um, up what the um, sketch looks like just because of the um, size. And I come in with these little um, stickers, the sticker sheet I got at Walmart. They um, all are black and white and gold. And I'm only going to be using the black and white stickers from it. And I'm using the little black dots, um, the black and white marble dots. Um, yeah. But uh, after I'm getting them all on here, I, I find out that they don't stick really well. So I'm gonna have to come back through with glue and get them all here down a little better. So the black and the black dots on it, the little circles, leave a great um, strip behind. So I'm cutting it out. And so it's going to be just this black strip with these um, holes cut out of it. And so it ends up looking like uh, black and white polka dots, and it's what it reminds me of. So I'm gonna, just going to add that into my washi strips. And I really like the way that it um, looks. Just gives it more of that black and white um, feel. See? So remember, this is a hop, and there is a lot of people playing along. So make sure you go down to um, the description box and see everybody else that is playing. Um, I'm playing every single day. Some people are playing um, just whenever they can. Uh, some people are playing on days that um, are certain days of the week. And um, yeah, so Christy is definitely playing along uh, every day. And so is Laura Alberts. And um, the Scrappy Sisters, Jessica and Kate. I know that they are all playing every day. So make sure you go and um, see what they have come up with with these same sketches and inspiration um, or prompt, prompts. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So here I'm adding part of my title. It says good vibes and a, and I'm going to finish out the title um, with some rub-ons from the Dollar Tree. And so it's going to read um, good vibes and a treadmill. And um, so <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to um, check to make sure I spell treadmill right because I am the world's worst um, speller. So I just check the spelling, write it down, and before I do my rub-ons, because, yeah, that'd be just embarrassing. <laughs> but seriously, world's worst speller. So um, I get all the uh, letters cut out for the word treadmill. Um, I was missing L, but um, there was an underscore and an I. And so I'm just going to put the two together to make the word or to make the letter L. And you can't even tell when I'm done that I did that. So that's nice. So I'm going to make, I measure the T here and to see exactly how tall the letters are. And I'm just going to um, make sure I put my line low enough that I can write um, the, uh, not write, rub the rub-ons in the right spot. So I did draw a line in pencil here, and now I'm just um, doing this L, putting it together to make, uh, you know, have to piece it together. So I get it, 
and I'm just going to spell it backwards. That way I know that I have room. And it leaves a big spot between the two um, words. So I just add a piece of that um, sticker with the um, holes in it that I like. Um, and it just fills in that spot nicely. And then I erase my pencil line. And um, here's where I notice that the stickers are not sticking. So I'm going to come in with my glue and I'm going to glue all of those stickers down. And uh, just anything that came off of that sticker pad, I glued down. And I wanted a little bit more, so I grabbed this um, stamp. It's just a little star. And I am going to add um, stars all around each of the clusters, just as my sprinkly bits. And then I grabbed the, I think I grabbed a smaller star, too. Yep. And so this one's just a little bit smaller. So I grab it, and I put it around. And get all that put away. I'm just using the ink pad from um, Staples. And so it's a nice, juicy ink pad. And actually, it was a little bit too juicy in the one spot at the top there and it I didn't like the way it looked so I'm covering it up with another sticker from Walmart um, it's the same it came as the same sticker pad it's just a different sheet of it um, and they're just little arrows that say the word love and um, I do come back in with my glue and uh, glue those ones down too just to make sure that they are going to um, stay <laughs> And then I'm coming in with my puffy paint um, in the black. And I'm just putting little um, black dots everywhere. And I think, oh, I do add a couple word stickers with the Tim Holtz um, word phrases. And I'm going to alternate between the black and the white. And there you go. I don't remember what they say, sorry. But here's my layout. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.